Hey. What a treat. How's it going? Great, what's happening? Well, I'm glad you my, guys are here. This is actually my first time at the chef's table. You're kidding. Why did it take me two years? I don't know. <laughs> Let's make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, stay here. So my co-host, Kevin. Yes. Kevin, what's up, man? What's going on? How are you? Lovely uh, meeting you. Great. So I'm going to put a plug in because you're humble, but we you're are humble. in the company of the 2017 Maine Chef of the Year. Yep. Awarded by the Maine Restaurant Association. Yes, it was. A lot's happened in such a short time span, you know? We're pretty blessed. Josh, what inspires you when you cook? I mean, you've, you've got a lobster on your arm. So I'm gonna Born and raised in Maine, you yeah. know what I mean? So it's a big thing for me, you know? Um, and I've worked all over the country, all over the world, you know, I've been around, and the goal was always to come back to Maine. You know, that's the goal. And what really inspires me after working all over the world in the South, and you need seasons. And in Maine, you know when it's like summertime, and you know when it's fall and winter. You know, we have those defined seasons. We need those drastic seasonal changes to bring about the new ingredients. So tell us uh, the, the background behind you. It's a very simple name, but it's a very strong name. It does. Um, it so means tell a us lot. Where, where it came from. So as a team. when we when we decided to name the restaurant Union, it really came about by like, so think about the word Union as a union between the chef and the food they're creating, right? Or a chef and my guests. I mean, I couldn't do what I do here without you guys and without the the producers and the cheese makers and the fishermen and the lobstermen. We wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So they need us, we need them, you need me, I need you. It, it all works together, you know what I mean? And it makes that great union. We're gonna cook some stuff for you guys today, Great. right? Yep. We're gonna start off with what's called panisse, and it's like a chickpea fritter, and it's served with some like uh, black quinoa, some you know really fresh radish, and the, the plate up is kind of dramatic. It looks fun, and then we have some local tuna, and we're gonna do like tataki, which means it's seared really fast, but served rare, almost like sushi. And we have a little bit of marinated cabbage with that, and it's gonna be like money, delicious. Before yeah. Before we cut in. Yeah, we're all, we're all doing this one now. Yeah. That's, Insta that's a, hashtag yep, union. Yep, that's right. We'll turn it on now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I need handles after this. We gotta put them all in. All right. Yum. Oh, nice. I like the little little cheers right there. We have to finish with dessert because that's my Obviously. favorite. Yeah, yeah. So we got to do some dessert stuff. What a treat, my friend. So yeah. you can have um, a reservation made. Yep. Call ahead. Four people. Yeah, we can fit four. It's tight. Two is like ultra perfect, you know. Three is even fun. Normally we just do like five courses, right? It's 80 bucks a, a head. And then you can add wine pairings to it if you want. And then um, if we're really feeling it and we're having a great time, we'll throw some extra courses out, you know, and it's fun. it's fun to go back and forth like that and to really just like hone it in on the guests, yeah. I love it. The chef's table here with executive chef Josh Berry. Incredible. Cheers. cheers. I love the cheers with the spoons, guys. You're nailing it. You're on a you're starting something now, yeah. Yeah.